Hey guys, in this video I'll be giving you an overview of Parallels Desktop 17 for Mac. It's the latest version that lets you run native Windows apps on Macs with the Intel chip or the newer Apple M1, which I'm using now, so you can get the best of both worlds. You can literally switch between them and run them in parallel. That's why it's called Parallels, right? Before I get into it, you'll, you will need a Windows installation image, but once you have that, the setup is very straightforward. Mine took about two minutes to install. To get Windows up and running, it takes just two clicks. I open up Parallels Desktop and hit the play icon and it'll resume. It all works as if Windows is an app within the Mac OS because it's just so seamless. Everything works as normal, the trackpad, the keyboard and even the Mac keyboard shortcuts which I love because then there's just no confusion. You can still use the Windows shortcuts if you want to though. For example, I can copy and paste using Ctrl C as is the case on Windows OS or I can use Command plus C as you do on Mac OS and both work perfectly well. See? You can access keyboard shortcuts by clicking the icon up here and if you want to add some more then just hit customize and select windows. Easy. There are some other handy stuff along here too. You can check the CPU usage, access the task manager, configure settings for windows, change the speaker, mic and camera settings as well as allow windows to access files and folders from your Mac. This helps with copying files over between the two so you don't have to worry about emailing them to yourself or uploading them to your Google Drive or something. Parallels just makes it all so easy. A cool feature it has is the coherence mode. Once enabled, it makes the Windows menu and apps feel like they're integrated into the Mac operating system. You can resize the Windows as you please and it will scale accordingly. And if you literally want Windows and Mac side by side, then you could do that too. See, it doesn't seem like I'm using two different operating systems, does it? It all seems very much native. To exit coherence mode, simply right click the Windows logo, click view and then exit. When you do this, you'll notice that the Parallels app appears in the dock. You also have full screen mode for when you want to focus on Windows only and then there's the picture in picture mode as well. You can choose how big you want it to appear. If you click the gear icon, you can also set how transparent you want it to appear when it's not active, like so. Performance wise, I haven't experienced any issues using Windows and Mac side by side. In fact, when you've got Windows open and you're not actively using it, it will automatically pause, which obviously saves battery but also minimizes the usage of resources. Oh, and there's more to Parallels than just Parallels Desktop. There's also Parallels Toolbox, which has multiple tools for Mac and Windows, which let you perform some really handy tasks with just a single click. There's a library full of them, as you can see here. There are things like Find Duplicates. Just select the directory you want to search in and hit Search for Duplicates. It's a very easy and fast way to clean up your Mac because finding these manually would be quite time consuming. Hide desktop files can be very handy for when you're sharing your screen or just want it to look empty if you don't want to actually move the files. And then you just click hide again to unhide them. Simples. But yeah, there are a lot of pretty convenient tools here. They also have Parallels Access, which is super cool. It lets you remotely access your computer anywhere on any web browser. All you need is an internet connection. You can even use it to remotely help a family member or a friend with any computer issues they're having. All you need to do is generate a link and ask them to navigate to it. They'll then be prompted to download the Parallels Access agent on their computer and then they'll just need to authorize the connection. Once they do that, you'll be able to access the computer to help them. They can of course terminate the connection whenever they want. And that's Parallels in a nutshell. If all of the above sounds good and you fancy testing it out for yourself, you can download a free trial. Just visit the Parallels website link below and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.